Welcome back to another week of the PPL, the final week before playoffs. Today we face off against Num Nexus and his team, the Toronto Tyrants. Can we pull one last W before the season ends? The team I'm bringing against Nexus was a bit of a rush job as I've been ill lately, but I put my all into it and it goes a little something like this. First we have Banded Palafin with the Adamant Nature so we can hit hard with Priority Jet Punch and Stab Wave Crash. The plan is as usual to lead with this and adapt from there. Next we have Thunderous Theorem with Boots Nasty Plot set with enough coverage to hit everything at least neutrally. Then we have Scarf Noivern with a modest nature and enough speed to outspeed Deoxys speed. Boom Burst spam pretty much. Then we have Jewel Screen's Clef Key to help the team take attacks bare. Second to last we have a booster in Speed Iron Moth with Substitutes. And finally, we have Ursaring with Eviolite and a Taunt Source Dance set, which can tank hits from a lot of his mons with the EV spread I have. That's the squad, so as usual, before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Pokemon battling content. And with that being said, here's the team Nexus decided to bring. Pretty solid stuff. And as I said earlier, we're leading Palafin to get the Hero Form ASAP. So without further ado, let's jump into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Nexus. So they're going to lead off with Jared, which is going to be the Sylveon. Awesome, we lead off with Palafin right off the bat. So what we can do here is, because Sylveon isn't a Terra Captain, I don't believe. Um, I might have better check that. Um, I think the Terra Captain they've brought... Hmm. So it looks like they haven't actually brought a Terra Captain, which is really interesting. So we don't have to worry about Terra this game. Let's go for a flip turn anyway and get on out of there. Um, it'll do a nice bit of damage, because it is an adamant natured one. So it does a good... Oh, that's a good third of their HP. That's nice. So nice damage on the Sylveon straight away. And what we're going to do now is we'll go into our Clef Key and we'll set up a layer of Spikes, because this thing cannot really touch us. Um, like, <laughs> looking at the damage we did with the flip turn, I'm pretty confident Wave Crash will KO. So I'm going to go into Klefki now. Here we go, Klefki comes in. And I'm hoping they don't Calm Mind up here. Um, they go for a Light Screen. That's an interesting choice. So Light Screen comes through for them. Um, we're also going to do the same thing. Now, they having our way of getting rid of haz uh, Hazards or Screens. Um, so what I'm going to do is, looking at their team, I would say Light Screen first, then Reflect. So we set up light screen like that, and they're probably going to set up a reflect now, which is fine. So we're going to have screens on both sides of the field, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, it just makes the battle go on longer, which is awesome. A long, nice, healthy battle is what we want. So let's go for a reflect. They withdraw. Okay, so Sylveon comes back. That's fine. What are they going to go into to take on good old Klefki? Shiesty. Who's that? That's the uh, Sandy Shocks. Nice. So Sandy Shocks comes in. It's going to get a nice booster energy. What's it getting though? Speed probably, right? Speed was heightened, that's fine. We get up our Reflect on the Switch, which is great. Klefki's doing all right here. Um, so now, what's our best bet with this Sandy Shocks? I would say probably Ursaring. Ursaring would be good. It can definitely take a few hits, especially under this. But I think Thunderous is our best actual switching because they can't Terra, but they could have Power Gem. So I think I'm going to go with the Ursaring one. I don't think they'll go for a Volt Switch. I think they go straight for an Earth Power, if anything. So we could have gone Noivern, really, but... Um, I'm glad I did do this, so... Earthstring's gonna come in now. And they do go for an Iron Defense. Interesting. Interesting. So that thing... That is a pain in the backside right there. Let's taunt it and stop it from doing more of that. They go for a Body Press. We should eat this. We do eat that way, which is really nice. We go for a taunt. No more Iron Defenses for you, I'm afraid, young sir. No more Iron Defenses for you, I'm afraid. Um, as we're going to go for a... I'm going for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. So they go for another Body Press. That's fine. That's going to take us to our, about half. So we can take another one after this. So let's go for a Swords Dance real quick. And um, what we'll do is we'll just go straight for a Body Slam. Um, now, I know it's not going to do too much damage. But to be honest, if you're looking at the team, I don't think Earth Ring's too valuable to us. So I'd rather just go for a Body Slam here. And then potentially get a... And then switch out the next tip. Never mind. They, go, they get a crit. It's fine. Crit on the Sandy Shot there. That's fine. That would have liked that Body Slam damage, but you know what? It's whatever. It is what it is. So let's see what we can do here. So I could go Palafin and just Wave Crash this thing into Oblivion. Um, I know I can take an Electric type move from this thing with Light Screen up. But I don't want to take unnecessary damage. I think the best thing to do is go Wave Crash. I think that is the best thing to do. Or is it no? Because at the end of the day, they're gonna if they, if we go wave crash, they attack me first. So if we go, uh, better off going for two jet punches, really. So I think I will go palafin here, and it's unnecessary damage on the palafin, which is fine. But at this point, we need to hit this thing really hard, really quickly. So I'm gonna go into palafin now, and I'm hoping their only electric move is gonna be volt switch. 
So I'm going to go for a jet punch now just to get the damage off. It should still do about half. I know they've got iron defense plus reflect up, but it should still do about half because Sandy Shocks isn't exactly super bulky. So we go for a jet punch, which is going to do about a quarter, actually. And they go for a body press, which is going to do not very much damage at all. So they shake off the taunt and the opposing's light screen wears off. So that did not do as much damage as I thought it would. However, it looks like they don't have an electric time move, which is good to know. So are we better off staying in here? I think I will just stay in and go for a wave crash because I I can't because I'm choice banded. Never mind. I'm going to go in front of a jet punch. I'm just going to whittle this thing down as much as I can. It's a battle of attrition here. They don't have recovery, but they do have another iron defense to go through. So that's that's the unfortunate part. So um, if we know the reflectors wore off, our light screens wore off, we've still got another turn of reflect. So we're better off going into our iron moth here and getting the booster energy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, because we know they're going to go for a body press again. And we've still got one more turn of reflect. So we may as well use the opportunity to get Palafin out of there. And do our own thing. So we withdraw our Palafin. We're going to go into Iron Moth. Because I know we can take a body press here. Um, and we know they're going to go for a body press. They wouldn't go for an Earth Power, I don't think. We get our booster energy and speed. Which means we outspeed the Sandy Shocks now. Which is great. And uh, they, go oh, they go for the Earth Power. They go for the Earth Power on the Switch. That's a banging Switch right there. That was an absolute banging Switch. Uh, play, sorry. That was a banging play. Wow. Okay, so he got me there. Got me real good. Um, it's fine, though. We've still got Noivern. Uh, I am off. We don't need it to win the game. It, it was mainly there for, like, Sylveon and stuff. So it's not the end of the world that it's gone. Um, I say we Terra Normal Boom Burst right off the bat because they no longer have screens up. So I say we just Terra Normal Boom Burst and just destroy things at this point because the whole team doesn't want to take a boom burst. So we're going to Terra Normal, like so. We're going to Terra Normal, like so. And we'll go for our boom burst. And that should do a lot of damage to the Sandy Shocks. Well, it should take out the Sandy Shocks, really. We are Scarf, so I know we outspeed. We go for the boom burst, of course. And that is going to take out that Sandy Shocks, no problem. There we go. So Sandy Shocks does go down, which is fantastic. And at this point, we can just spam Boom Burst, but I don't want to do that. We are a modest nature with enough EVs to outspeed Deoxys' speed. So we should be hitting pretty hard. Okay, in comes Jared once again. That is the Sylveon. Probably wants to get them screens up. Now, do we go for a Boom Burst here? I think we just, I think they go for another screen. So I, th I say we just go for a Boom Burst again. Um, I don't really see any point in not going for Boom Burst. Because it will two-shot from here. Should be a two-shot. I think that is a two-shot. They get the light screen up. Now, that is fine. But I'm pretty sure Sam moves bypass screens. I could be wrong. Pretty sure they do. Let's go for another boom burst and find out. So we go for another boom burst. Like I said, I'm pretty... I, I could be completely wrong here. No, I am wrong. I am wrong. I am wrong. I am wrong. They go for a hyper voice just to get the damage off. It doesn't do half, which is nice. Just under half. And um, we just go for another boom burst here all the time. I don't really see any reason not to. The Sylveon being gone is going to be ideal for us. And um, we still have our Clef Key to screens as well, which is going to be nice. So we can always play around with that. But I think de definitely muscling through that Sylveon right there was the right play, I hope. Okay, Quackable comes in. That's an interesting one. So um, this is definitely frightening for us. So what can I do here? I'm leaning towards the uh, Klefki. I'm also leaning towards Fundy. I'm leaning more towards Klefki, though. So I'm going to switch into Klefki and we're going to get a Reflect up. I think Reflect's going to be really beneficial to us. So we withdraw Noivern. Get it out of there, which is great. That's what we want. Uh, and we're going to go into our... Clef key, just to see if we can take it. I know we can take an Aqua Step. A Bulk Up, however, I wasn't foreseeing. So that's um, unfortunate right there. So Bulk Up is unforeseen. I am going to get my Reflect up here because that is definitely going to be crucial to taking hits from this Quackable with Thunderous. Um, like I said, they can't Terra, so we don't have to worry about that too much, at least. Um, but the problem we've got is that uh, they could outspeed us um, with pretty much any... Well. They, they, they could outsp outspeed us after an Aqua Step and two shot our uh, Thunderous after a couple more bulk ups. So I get my Reflect up. That's going to be important. They go for an Aqua Step, which isn't going to do too much. Yeah, not too much damage. Does give them a nice speed boost. Now, Klefki might have to go down here. So I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam and just get some damage off on this Quackable. And hopefully, they're not weakness policy. So they go for another Aqua Step, which is fine. And the thing is, they're getting really fast real quick. We go for a Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully they ain't got Weakness Policy. A bit of damage on this thing is going to be put... They are Weakness Policy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is going to be a Quackable Sweep right here. 
a quackable sweep. Very much so a quackable sweep. So um, that is unfortunate that we are going to go down here. Um, so I may as well get my light screen up while I'm here. So get the light screen up while I'm here. Just, just in case we do manage to get past the quackable, then at least we've got a screen back up for the Iron Jugulus and the Appleton and the Deoxys. But that is going to render Clef Key completely unusable right there. Um, which is unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world, that's for sure. Because we do have a Reflectum. Now, I'm pretty confident that Palafin can take any hit from this thing. It can take a close combat. I know it can take a close combat. Fundy can take an... I'm going to go Fundy. I'm going to go Fundy. And I'm hoping that behind a Reflect, we can still take a hit from this thing. It's the only way to win. Only way to win. Let's go for a T-Bolt. Let's try and get a bit of damage off on this thing. And hopefully they're not AV. No, they're not AV. They've got a Weakness Pulse. Ignore me. Triple Axel. Yep, there we go. That's dead. Dead, dead, dead and done. Dead and done. Dead and done. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it. Well, I, I had it in the back of my mind, but I was hoping they wouldn't go for it. Slash, it wouldn't hit all three times. But you know what? Whenever I use Triple Axel, it only hits one time. Whenever my opponents... Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So I I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Um, I guess we go Palafin. We try and tank a close combat. That is the literal only way we can get through this. The only way to get through this is with that. So let's go ahead and just click close combat. And if they go for a close combat, which they have done, if we live, they get a defense drop. We don't live, though. Because they are at very high attack right now, thanks to Moxie and Sweetness Policy and Bulk Ups. <sighs> you know, this isn't the first, and it's not going to be the last time I get swept by a Quackable. So, you know, I'm not even mad. <laughs> God, I suck. Let's go Noivern again. We, st we still... We still... At we, we don't outspeed. So, it's... <laughs> It's like, whatever. We don't outspeed. So let's go for a boom burst. Just let's see if we do. We don't know, of course, because close combat does take us out. And that's going to be the game. So GG Nexus, that was a fun one. Nice double f W for us. It's unfortunate that neither of us can make playoffs. That is the unfortunate part about this battle. Um, but you know what? Whatever. Great end for Nexus to the season. Terrible end for me. <laughs> we can't all have a happy ending.